All right. Uh... We got the Chiefs and the Bengals right there, Molly. Yeah, we sure do. And Patrick Mahomes last year, both in Week 17 and again in the AFC Championship. Plus, the news gets better for Cincinnati with Jamar Chase set to make the field for the first time since Week 7. Burrow and Chase have been among the most productive quarterback receiver tandem since the start of last season, especially when it comes connecting on the difficult throws. The two have connected for seven TDs on passes for 20 or more yards downfield since 2021, which leads all quarterback receiver duos. They will try to outdo another great offensive duo in Mahomes and Travis Kelsey on Sunday. RC Swagu back with us. Who's more dangerous? I'll start with you, Stephen A. Is it Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase or Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey? Well, first thing I want to say is this. Molly stuttered at the top of the segment because she got distracted by the fly shirt and the tie this morning. I mean, it, it is it, it is looking kind of smooth. I just thought that, it does I look good. That I, to to out what I just thought they put the point out. I was you know what I'm saying? Out what my shirt, for tie. once, R.C., my shirt is better than yours, okay? R.C., I got to admit, <laughs> he has stepped up his game for the last few weeks. R.C. rolled up today. in the studio a few times like this. I got Damn, for you I mean, it's at the wardrobe. <laughs> Okay, and then I went. I no, said, you know what? I want to tell America actually why I, why I stuttered a little bit because we were supposed to be talking about the New York Giants, yeah. and then that video didn't run. No, yeah, because and then the, I thought we were talking about no, no. Aaron Rodgers' birthday, no, 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 and then no, no, that it, video it, it, didn't it, it, run. It was because and then all of a sudden, it was Patrick Mahomes. So why did we kill the Giants? The producers do an outstanding job. The producers do an outstanding job. They just look at the rundown, and the producer said, "What the hell are we talking about the Giants this early in the show for? What are we doing? That's what happened." Only person want to talk about the Giants is you. Okay. okay, but oh, I thought they were going to acquire way, somebody. By the way, y'all, GQ, excuse me, GQ, my man RCB on social media, Instagram, so like, I mean, styling and profiling. He trying to put the Can world on notice. There? The wardrobe has been <laughs> upgraded. This is what he trying to do, Swaggu. RC trying to do something now. Like RC trying to do something now. All right, now let's get to this damn thing right man, here with the Chiefs and the Bengals. RC, hey. the, RC the best dressed dude on TV, man. Like, now that's a lot. Let's move now back that's to a lot. He the that's best a, dressed he dude up on there. TV. He's up there. Nobody has it on me. Stop that. And, and RC ain't getting that title when he showed up looking like Dick Tracy. Come on now. He ain't doing that. He ain't doing that. That bright yellow My suit out. All right, now let's, get, now let's get to this point. Can let's we get do to the show? Point. That's right. <laughs> Chiefs. Travis Kelsey, Patrick Mahomes. For, one simple, you know For one simple reason. You know you the best dressed dude reason. on TV. They, with, they withstood the test of time. They've been doing it for years. It's very simple. I'm going to say this, man. The Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes are, are the most efficient. I think they have just one of the best connections. I think that you can always count on them. But when we're talking about dangerous, like, do you realize that Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow can kill you with one route? It's one route. If you, if you go man-to-man -man on the outside, we are going to run a nine route. That's the go ball. If you're on top of Jamar Chase, I'm going to throw it back shoulders, and he's going to pluck it. If you don't get on top, which many people don't, I'm going to hit you with the bomb. And even if it's the Super Bowl and I can't get both hands on it, if I'm Jamar Chase, one is all I need. I think that Travis Kelsey is the best to ever do it from the position, and I think that Patrick Mahomes has an argument and is on his way to maybe being able to say the same thing. But we're talking about dangerous, and we're talking about dynamic, and if we're talking about explosive, the telepathy between Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow on the same exact route over and over and over again, and you just can't stop it, and it results in touchdowns and big plays. I think you have to go with them if we're asking who's the most dangerous. RC, I love you. Mahomes you and disagree? Kelsey. That, I disagree 100%. And you know I want to be LSU what school did all you go to? through and through this conversation. I know it. I know it. I want to yeah, be with you. Turn against LSU but, man, I cannot. I cannot. Huh? Not see what I've seen between Mahomes and Kelsey over these years, dude. What in like, the Brian and think Kelly's about this. accent? Think about <laughs> this. When we talked this season, when we talked coming into this season, we talked about Tyreek Hill leaving Kansas City and what would happen. Bro, do you know a tight end is dictating everything about how defenses play the Kansas he's City a, Chiefs right no now? Like, like, like him and Mahomes. Though RC, when you know it's go when it's got to happen, okay, and, and, and Tyreek Hill depart when it's it's gonna be them. 
And I get that Jamal, uh, Jamal and Joe have that connection, and I want to be with you because of LSU. There is only one tandem that was broken up that I would say it was better than Mahomes and Kelsey, and that would have been Aaron Rodgers and Devontae. Aaron That's and the Devontae. only one that I would say is better than Mahomes and Kelsey. It's got to be them for me. And the fact that Kelsey is a tight end puts a little bit more juice on it than it does with Jamar and obviously Joe Burrow. Yeah. Works for me. Works right. for me. RC, I mean, I mean, Swaggo agrees. Very, very astute. Before we go, do you want to tell uh, RC and Marcus what you're getting them for I'm Christmas? Yo, 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 man. Hey, hey, RC, tell RC, on. Swaggo, I got a Christmas gift for y'all. I got a Christmas gift for y'all. <laughs> is it the deluxe autograph <laughs> edition? Are they going to get that? Is it a sign <laughs> Listen, they're going to get whatever they want. And you're going to get it too, Molly. I want to thank everybody. Listen, right now, I mean, it's pre-sale, man, and thousands upon thousands of my book has already been sold. I just want to thank everybody. Straight Shooter, that's Congrats, the title brother. of the book here. Um, I've already yes. personally signed over 20,000 copies. You can go to straightshooterbook.com to order my autographed copy today. So I just want to thank everybody. Everything about it is in there. I mean, shoot, I mean, talk about my personal life, talk about myself growing up. I got y'all in the book. You in the book, Molly. You in the book, Swagoo. What? You in the book, RC. Yes, I got sir. everybody up in there. Man, okay. Thank you, brother. I talk a lot. I, I talk come a lot on. about my career and stuff like that. It's a motivational book. You know where I come from, Hollis Queens, the street, streets of you Hollis are Queens. Extremely to be where I'm at today, yeah. I tell that story because guess what? If I can do it, you can do it too. That's how it is. I man. love it. Yes, sir. Get back. I can't wait to read it. Christmas, that that Christmas time in Hollis Queens. You understand know what I'm saying? All so, right. So. Huge congrats, Stephen A. Honestly, I can't wait to read it. All right, RC, you are free. Marcus, you can't go anywhere. Coming up, the Chiefs look poised to run away with the AFC, but are there legitimate threats standing in their way? Someone here has a team in mind that will surprise you. Plus, Luka Magic put on a show yesterday, but in a losing effort to the Pistons. Does he deserve to be in the MVP conversation? Huge debate ahead. On ESPN, Deshaun Watson is just two days from his first game in nearly two years. Watson coming off an 11-game suspension for violating the league's personal conduct policy and will make his Browns debut against his former team, the Houston Texans. Here's Watson addressing the media yesterday. I'm focusing on just being the starting quarterback and executing the game plan. That's my main focus. I'm not, uh, you know, worried about the atmosphere. I got to go in and, and make sure I execute the game plan. Sean, part of your agreement with the league was to undergo counseling and therapy while you were away. What did you learn about yourself during that time? Um, you know, I, I respect your question. I understand, but that's that's more in that phase of clinical and, and legal stuff. And uh, you know, I've been advised to, you know, stay away from that and keep that personal. CRC, Matt Patricia isn't the only one taking notes. Pencil ready to go. All in Deshaun Watson. Stephen A., I'll start with you. How has he handled this whole thing so far? Stupidly. Somebody got to say it, so I'm going to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I've been in this business for many years, and obviously, you know, I've made my share of mistakes, and I'm going to continue to make mistakes. I mean, when you're on live television, there ain't no seven-second delay, no tape delay, or whatever. You arguing with people, you speaking extemporaneously. You're going to say stuff, you're going to make mistakes. Damn it, that's the way that it goes. If RC or Swagoo 